Welcome to my channel. I don't know if you can see the full me, but um, today is Wednesday. I'm on my lunch break. It is almost 12.30, and I just picked up um, the CSA. Um, we have the newsletter that has um, just a little story about the week and some recipes and storage tips. I'm going to get a little closer look. I want to show you some of these recipes. They're pretty crazy. Um, but the first thing we got is uh, parsley. What I'm going to do is plant these in a pot. Um, I just planted the basil. It was kind of getting wilty. I used some of it for the zucchini lasagna that I made. Um, but I will definitely plant this today when I get back home from work. Um, so we'll have parsley. It'll keep coming. Stevie's going to love these. These are just a bunch of uh, blueberries. Um, I haven't tried any. I haven't eaten yet. I'm fasting. Um, <laughs> we got some, looks like three um, beets. One is like a really nice size. Um, and two of them, um, they're in the instructions, you can cut off the beet. And I think it stores in the refrigerator for like three weeks. You can use the beet leaves. You can use it like shard or spinach, but they have to be thoroughly, thoroughly washed. Again, there are some like holes in it where you could tell that an insect was eating it, but they say that, you know, that's a good sign um, that it's pesticide free, organic, and so on and so forth. So it's unfortunate because it's going to be like 90 degree days <laughs> for the next couple days so we're gonna hitting a heat wave and I hate to use the oven what I might try to do is um, see if I can pressure cook these so we do like beets so I will definitely do something with these try to do anything this week we got some garlic this is uh, I guess this is elephant garlic it's not regular garlic so it's a more milder garlic um, and what they do suggest so I won't be able to use these because these are all like dried up the scapes or whatever but um, what I like to do is like cut them and cut them in half and roast them um, roast them for a while so they get all like nice and caramelized and um, then maybe use them for like a spread on like a nice baguette or something or on meat or whatever but um yeah we'll see i might have to do like wake up really early in the morning and put the oven on because it is so hot so we got that i'm not i don't have my bag um i forgot my bag this morning so i just took the basket but what i'll have to do is just return the basket um next week <clears throat> and bring my bag we do have oh this is a huge bunch of kale this looks great and there's actually like no holes or anything this looks really good what i want to do is either i want to make um zuppa toscana uh soup and um i don't know if you've ever been to olive garden but that soup is so delicious it's like it's not keto friendly you can make it keto friendly but it's like potatoes hot italian sausage cream it's like a creamy broth um, it has spinach, but you can actually use kale. I think kale might be better because it's heartier. Um, bacon. Um, I think that's it, but it's just like a creamy potato soup um, that has like sausage and greens. Um, so I'm going to do that, and I'm definitely going to make uh, kale chips. So I have had success with that before, so I will do that. We actually got, um, these are two huge cucumbers. Um, so cucumbers are coming. I actually got four of them, but um, at the um, CSA where we pick up, they have a donation box and they donate it. They donate um, whatever you put in there to like a local food pantry. So I, the smaller cucumbers that we had, I did put in the donation box. I try to donate at least something once a week <clears throat> for the food pantry. And lastly, we got more zucchini. So um, we ate that that 13 by 9 uh, dish. Uh, we had leftovers for a couple days. Steve's not a big fan of leftovers. But I'll eat leftovers. I don't care. Um, but I have, I mean, zucchini frozen from last year. Worst case scenario, I'll just shred this and freeze it. Uh, but what I'll try to do is make a couple of pasta dishes and instead of me having the pasta, I'll make zoodles because I do have a spiralizer. And um, that is it for the basket this week. So we did get some fruit um, that we didn't get last week. But I do want to just show you kind of the stuff that's in the newsletter. 
there were some interesting recipes. Oh, this uh, this sounds good. So this is salsa verde using uh, it's Italian pasta sauce. I love green salsa, like salsa verde. That's my favorite. I prefer that over like a tomato based salsa. Um, they also have cucumber blueberry and feta salad so two cucumbers two cups of fresh blueberries vinegar so it's kind of like a savory sweet it sounds refreshing it sounds good I like we like feta roasted beets and sauteed beet greens so this is saying cover and bake for 45 to 60 minutes at 350 and I really don't want to have the oven on because it's so hot we don't have the ACs on now so it's pretty cool um, and slow roasted elephant garlic so you have to have the oven 375 and has to be in there like an hour to roast pickled blueberries <laughs> um, so you know you're you're combining sugar vinegar salt water and blueberries that sounds simple enough and here are the options uh, to get your juices flowing so this is how they suggest you serve it on crostini and sandwiches a fish garnish cocktails I don't know I don't know maybe maybe and then pasta kale and fava beans so that's pretty straightforward and again in the newsletter they have um suggestions on how to they have an actual um a fresh produce wash that's natural three parts of water one part vinegar which i have tried works good and then it has how you should store um, whatever is in the basket so most of the stuff may become in the full basket but and then they have one more recipe and um, it's secret chocolate cake and the first uh, ingredients is two cups of beets I don't know I have most of these ingredients except for um, I think like the yogurt um, I might might try it and see how that goes well thank you for joining this week it's week 12 of uh, the uh, community supported agriculture from farmer Joe's farmer Joe's garden in Wallingford we'll see you next week